The relationship I have with Don is different from any of the other patients that I took on. He's more of a down-to-earth person. He, he may be 90 years old, but he can fool you. He doesn't even act like 90. So it's easy to get along with him. We sit there and we enjoy his breakfast together. And then from there, we take another routine. We have something to do every day. We either go shopping, uh, we go visit uh, the coffee shop, uh, we go see the donut shop. Every day, Don and I have a plan. Uh, we go and have coffee with his buddies, and that, that helps him communicate better as well as get out and about. And then we have our little errands that we go to the stores and I take him to the doctors and we go to the beach a lot and sit and just talk and watch the waves and the dog walkers. You need somebody to not be out of touch, let's put it that way, you gotta stay in touch. And that traveling out every day is important to get me out of the house. What is it like to work with people I'm so close with? It's amazing. It makes my job a lot easier, it really does. It makes me, you know, wake up and look forward to every day. I think I elevate his spirit just by being here because when his wife was alive, his wife was here with him all the time and now she's gone and it's like he's living in this big house by himself. And when he come in, I think that itself is just elevation. I think providing care for Don is good, very good for his health. Don is 90, but he's good. I mean, his mind is really good. She's a big person in terms of personality, and she kind of smothers you at times. He's a, he's a good guy. Like I say, he's my go-to guy. <clears throat> Without Brown, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> You'd figure something out. <laughs>